What is up you beautiful people? In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly to scrape 50,000 plus data from Apollo without ever paying for a subscription. This is the same method that I used with my client to scrape over 43,000, actually 50,000 uh, emails and got 29 meetings booked, positive meetings. Like we got a lot of responses, but 29 confirmed meetings happened. And if you go to my website, well, I get here we have sent 150,000 emails, 13,000 emails, 20, 30,000 emails, 10,000 emails, all of this scraped through the same method. We scraped the Apollo's database without ever paying for Apollo itself. The tool that I'm going to show you is called appify.com. Now, appify is a fantastic tool which is used for web scraping only, right? And the best part about appify is that here, if you go to Appify Actors, there are a lot of developers. What they do is they uh, create different, different scrapers for different, different purposes. Now, there are scrapers for scraping Instagram profiles. There are scrapers for TikTok profiles. And my favorite, there are scrapers to scrape Apollo. So this is the one, right? Now, there are multiple scrapers, but this one, which where you can scrape up to 50,000 emails. This is my favorite one. Now it is not free, of course, you have to pay for something, but it's ridiculously cheap, which is like $1.2 for 1000 leads. So that means if you want to scrape 10,000 leads, you'll just have to pay $12. That's about it, right? But it comes with a caveat that you have to pay for Appify subscription, which is $50. So first you have to exhaust that $50, then this, this, this starts getting billed. I know this is a little bit of complicated stuff. Uh, I mean, if I go to the pricing, you'll see this $49 a month. This is what I'm subscribed to at the moment. However, this is still a lifesaver if you are in the web scraping cold email space and you're sending a lot of emails for you or your clients. This is going to be a game changer for you. Now, first things first, what do we need? We need clientele. You know, we need to go ahead and figure out who we need to reach out to. So this is a client of ours for whom I'll be uh, extracting data, right? Now, this client wants database of commercial services, a small to mid size manufacturers in US in these specific uh, places and up to 50 employees can data, CEOs of up to 50 employees uh, can databases, right? So what I'll do is I'll go to my trusted little Apollo. So first things first, we definitely need this locations. So let's start with locations here. All right, I'll skip the boring bits. Here, I'll just put in the filters in Apollo so that we get the right data. I think we are pretty good here. We got about 5.9K, which is 6,000 words of data. Now here in the email status is important for you to select verified so that you kind of get a little bit better leads, right? Now, as you can see, it's a pretty small list of 2,400 people, right? Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll need to note down the Apollo URL. Now let's go to our scraper. So here we'll go to try for free. There you go. All right here. You just need to add the search URL. So if you go to Apollo, you'll find this search URL. Just copy, come back and paste it. All right. Total numbers of records required. So this is 2500. Let's say we do. So it, we are asking for both work and personal emails. Actually, I'll turn off personal emails. This is good. Now what we'll do is we will go ahead and click on save and start. Now the scraper will get into full action mode and will start scraping data for me. You see first 100 results, zero contacts, 100 people. So it will start scraping data for me at this point. So let it run for a bit and then I'll show you what is the final out. All right, here we are. So it scraped 2,500 database in our sheet, right? So this is really awesome. So I'll click on this one. I uh, have another data set running at this point. Now, whatever it may be, what we'll do is we can go ahead and click on export 2,500 results. So I'll click on this. And here you can select what fields you want for yourself, right? I want the data in CSV format. And I want these details. Let's say first name. I want, um, do you have the last name somewhere? Okay, last name, email. We'll not need personal emails. We'll need company, oh, sorry, organization. Organization website URL, LinkedIn. Uh, we might need title. 
city state country there we go i think we're pretty much good we can add phone numbers and all but for now i don't need to download that because this is primarily for uh cold emails right now you can also uh achha, this is also good time zone so we can use that later um i don't think we'll need anything else at the moment we're pretty much good uh what we'll do is now i'll simply click on download there you go now the data has been downloaded here so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and create a new sheet and bring that data in here lovely as you can see we have the first name last name email uh this is organization uh we got the organization slash facebook qr i don't think we'll need this though we'll pretty much delete these columns we have organization linkedin organization logo organization market cap we don't need this organization name A name we might need Uh, we got the website so that's good so what we'll do is we'll delete these columns we won't need it at the moment so we got the organization website url at i think i don't know why it downloaded it twice so we'll do that a uh, linkedin url of the person this person the title the city state country and the time zone i don't think all the time zones are listed so i mean for now we'll just delete this now there we go we have collected almost 2501 data and then i can start uh, you know filtering this out i can see there are some emails that are missing so what i'll do is i'll quickly just do like a basic filtration and remove all the blanks so in general we got 1899 emails that i can go ahead and start uh, verifying and use it for my whatever purpose is like i can use from cold emails and what not so this is a pretty decent tool to start using and by the way this only came out of my free credits i did not use anything else so i think this is pretty dope considering that we have only used the free service to download all this data i hope this video was helpful and it helps you scrape a ton of data for yourself for your clients and you start reaching out to people and make more money with cold emails now if you want more cold email tips uh drop your biggest query in the comment box and i'll make sure to create a video on the same thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video